This is really the fighter and the kid. Come on, baby. Gotta have an eye, you know what I mean, Brennan? You gotta have, an, gotta eye, have an eye, dude. Gotta know distance. You got the sandals on again today. Don't call them sandals. The flip flops. They're Toho flip flops. You know what I'm saying? Or, but so. aren't flip flops called sandals? I don't think so. I think they're just called flip flops. But no, the flip flops would be sandals a certain. Would be, no, flip flop would be a certain kind of sandal. Uh, I feel like flip flops. Like, like you drive a car. Yeah, the type of car is a Tesla. I feel like Those sandals, sandals would be have a strap. Those have they? a strap. Well, something that <laughs> buckles, right? Well, no. What are they? That but sounds, most that sounds them, stupid, most right? Call them flip flops, dude. No, but yeah. a, a flip flop is a type of sandal. Sandals differ from flip flops, which have a V-shaped strap. I love that we're reading the actual. The like, the this the shoe is so be. boring that we're having this discussion. By the way, attached to the sole of the shoe, between the big toe and the second toe, sandals vary in design and may have multiple straps, a wedge heel, or they may cover more of the foot. Wow. All right. Well, I'm glad we got that settled. God. I'm glad I won that. That I don't. Google should have just came back. And went nerd. Win winning an argument, I could give a fuck about. Um, yeah, sorry about my toes being taped. Psh, sorry about my toes. I'm not even worried about that. It's, it's training. It's, no, I know. I knew you were going to ask about training. You know, you can, can I tell you one thing oh, about God, myself? I have to hear about no, it. No, no. All I'm going to say, and you would know this, my top pressure? Money. Heavy, right? Hell yeah, dude. Fuck, it's heavy. Uh, I bet you're my, known for it. My top, my, my top game? Money. Heavy. I ride above the nipples. They call you the blanket? They call me the fucking sweater. They call me the the weighted sweater, but they should call me the blanket. Not big enough to be called the blanket. They call me the they call me the lead sweater. Isn't they that crazy? They call you the little turtleneck. Yeah, I ride above the nipples. If I ride you, you're big, but you'd above have some trouble breathing. Above the nickel, nipples, so your body's up here. Oh, dude, I'm right up there, dude. Oh, that's so stupid. I'm so, no, no, so no. all my but all this is free. No problem. Dude. Oh, that's not how you do jiu-jitsu, <laughs> right? <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, that's how I know you don't. Do no, you're fine, cause 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 I'm fine. Cause my top pressure. I'm Anybody should be fine if you're that high. See ya, Daddy. You're not breathing, dude. Yeah. Don't say see ya. Hold on. Hey, man. forget about your sandals and your chain for a second. Yeah. Your heel is so ashy, dude. Your heels <sighs> are so ashy. I got some ashy heels. A lot of it's just cracked heel. I got a cracked heel. It's not that cracked, actually. And my toes. You ever see guys who have toes that they they get a fungus under their toes? It's very common for older men. Oh, where it's like discolored. Yeah, and I I have healthy toes because I don't have any of that shit going on in my body. Yeah. Got a little tendonitis in the old shoulder. Really? That's about it. It's not bad. Not bad. And it's it's fine now. But uh, Oh dude, how you know it's Chin's birthday. Happy birthday. Oh, thank you. Fuck, dude. What are you 45? 62? 63? How old are you? For, uh, 47. Dude. What? 47. 47 Isn't years that wild? old. Chin. 47 today. And Brian, I remember like watching the show when I was a fan. Yeah. yeah. And then when Brian turned 47 or like 46, 47, you were like, you're 50. You're 50. Yeah. yeah. So I so feel like old. I'm like, 50, yeah, I was just going to tell you about 50. Well, you're 47. Too. I'm 57. I'm 10 years your senior. Yep. Which isn't just a ton. No, it's not. Because biologically, I took a look at your insides and. Chin uh, doesn't look 47. No. What do you do good. for your B day, Chin? Today? Tonight, probably. I know what you're doing right now. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be, hey, editing. yeah, I'll be, hold on. Now. Don't ask an ambiguous question, <laughs> just answer the fucking question. Like, what's my plan today? Me a question right now. Ask me any question. We have a show. Oh, you, got plans plans today? you got plans today? Today? I mean, <laughs> not really. I mean, not really. As he's doing his I mean, plans. I'm going to do some stuff. I'm trying to make you guys look good, I'm, but I have to work on the show. So I'm not going to do anything tonight, but then uh, maybe this weekend. I already did stuff with my Because you'll be working on the show tonight, even until the wee hours. By candle. Right. Do you know how long I work on the show? I don't know. I'm, All right. That's what I'm saying. I bet All you right. do. Yeah. But no, you don't have any big plans this weekend or anything? Uh, yeah. Friends. No, but my family came over uh, to my place on the weekend. So that's the main thing I did. And then I went camping. My friends went with me. So yeah, you we did plenty did, of stuff. Do you bring that, a lot of booze when you camp? What do you think, Brian? Yeah. Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> you get drunk in the woods, bro. That's Does what you get do. Weird? Any excuse. You dance around the campfire? <laughs> No, we don't dance. I drank, I drank hallucinogenic rice wine in Indonesia with the Diax and danced around the fire until the wee hours of the morning. Um, Were you exhausted? No, because it was, it was, something was in that rice wine and I drank from a communal cup, so I drank from a cup that everybody was rice drinking wine. from. That's healthy. Yeah, real healthy. And uh, it was pretty good wine though. And, uh, and that's how the story ends. That's it. Yeah, you had a good time. You had middle to be of, there. Middle of the woods. But Jen, well, you know, at your age, there's, there's not a lot to do for B days. You know, it's kind of no. It's just family. As long dude. as someone goes, "What's up, man? Happy birthday." Know, that's you about should, you it. Should have your friends and have a dinner. Well, no, we already did. Yeah, we did the camping. I did my family thing at, at home, and yeah, 
It was good. I don't yeah. I don't care about stuff. Oh, you, you. fuck, dude. Happy oh birthday. Oh, my gosh. She brought seaweed. Yeah, is that cake racist? Oh, look at that. That's a good cake. Birthday Let's play the game. Is that racist? I mean, just just for the listeners. Hey, my son. You. Thank you, Snob. Happy All birthday, right. Chin. Hey. Chin, what and is that? I like playing a game called Is It and Racist? And Fish. That's a, Everyone else, you get brownies. That is, oh, a, that dude, is a cake made out of so seaweed wow. and of canned try. fish. That's exactly what I love, though. So thank you, Snaz. You're wow. Happy birthday. I have to get you a cake of things you like. Where do you get those at? Is that like a Korean market? No, it's Trader Joe's. <laughs> oh, Trader Joe's Trader does Joe's it. Organic seaweed, and then we got flat fillet anchovies. I, Snaz's. I, I like those I think I like Snaz more than everybody in this room. No. I do. Because she brought you a, a brownie. Got a person. Thank you, Snaz. That was very sweet. Did you make these? Yeah. Brian didn't even know it was your B day. Good. And she did that for you guys as well? Yeah, the upside the down TRX. Car. And no, the TRX. <laughs> TRX yeah, I know, the upside the down Tesla. TRX was sick. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those cupcakes were nice. Remember Brian judged the cupcakes? He's like, these are from Albertsons, not Erwan. I'm not eating them. Remember that piece of shit? <laughs> why wouldn't you? Why I'm so you make, picky, dude. You're, why you're wouldn't so you make picky. a, why wouldn't you, um, you imitate me? Do I always, do I always go like this? I don't want to do that. Yeah. And you move your head. Because that's what you... Well, gosh, it must have been really hard. <laughs> I don't know. I've always done it's that. It's such a bad impression. <laughs> I know. It, it, has, it doesn't even resemble you. It's just an exaggerated head, gay like, version of I you. like guys. <laughs> Brian, remember when we, I got Voodoo Donuts and then you literally knew for a fact that it was sitting for a while. It was like not fresh. I, I, I could not believe it. Yeah. It was in my fridge. Yeah. But you knew I, for I a fact that, that it was like wine. not. I can do that with all kinds He's of things. He's used to a certain standard. I know. I was like, I was so <laughs> shocked. My grandfather, I get it from my grandfather. My grandfather was a taster. Hmm. Literally, he used to taste for um, uh, when he was young, a young man. For Hitler? Remember Hitler had uh, tasters? Yes, he was a taster for, uh, yeah, for Hitler. And, uh, <laughs> and. <laughs> How scary of a geek would that be? Oh my god! You know what that? You know what they did? Not to sidetrack it. Hitler had a group because he was so paranoid someone was going to poison him. He would have people try all the food before he sat down and ate. He had just people just to try it out to make sure it wasn't poisonous. Yep. Think about being it's like was, medieval times. It, it was it was all women. <laughs> and they got really fat. My my grandfather could literally. I swear, he would he was eating one time and he goes like this. He goes fucking goddamn Egyptian pine nuts. Bullshit. What? What? He goes, He's, you know, they're supposed to be Greek pine nuts, but Egyptian pine nuts, they take these shortcuts. Drive me. Please, come over here. And speak to, let me speak to the chef. And the chef would come over, or he'd go into the kitchen, and I'm not joking, and he'd go, you know, you're using Egyptian pine nuts. It's not that hard to get Greek pine nuts. It's a huge difference, and he'd lecture you on why. Oh, sounds exhausting. Yeah. I mean, cheese, everything had to be a specific kind of thing. Are you go in the restaurant and do it? Oh, dude. I'd be like, then don't eat here. No, but he was... He was just a true foodie. Well, he also owned, he also owned a spaghetti sauce factory, mm-hmm. Squafani spaghetti sauce, and he, I'm, I'm a spaghetti sauce, tomato sauce. He was one of the first people to only use organic tomatoes, not because he was all crunchy, he liked because taste. he could smell it. Like I remember, he go, "You smell that? You smell how it stinks to high heaven." And it was like, yeah. And he goes, that's the soil that it's supposed to grow in. And that's when it's supposed to be. They, they ripen that way. We don't ripe them Dude, in Dude, hold in on. Are you telling chambers. me you're the hair to? Sclafani. Yeah. I am. But um, Do you, do, like, I'm sure you passed away. You yeah. didn't get any of that? Or is, a little bit is, when I was is, is the factory still up and running? It was sold off. But no, I didn't, I didn't see a lot of cash on that. I saw some. Where was it at? Um... <laughs> I think it got spread around. <laughs> Known for quite no, some in fact, time. that's not true. It actually got. It, Brian's like he, little fact you guys should know about me. His, my grandfather no, owned he ragu. Down, he passed it down to his son. <laughs> to his son? Uh, yeah. To your uncle? Yeah, to my uncle. So they passed it down to him. And they're still and running it. He has five girls, and yeah, I think they, he just and they sold, all get he it. Just sold it. Mm. Just sold it. They make a nice Alfredo. What's that? I don't know. They make a nice what? Alfredo. They make a, my grandmother, like my mother, was an, um, uh, an unbelievable cook. Again, I like a in nice the Alfredo. 80s, my mom was saying, this coffee's bullshit. This, they're not using real cocoa in these brownies. That's my mom. That's how I grew up. That sounds exhausting, but that makes sense why you're like that. Yeah. That's, that's why I know all the, and that's why I know the difference. Yeah. I'm like, oh, okay. So that, that's how it works. There was never, in an Italian household, you didn't make anything from a fucking box. It was sacrilege. 
you would never find a box of shit in and you know they'd even make the pasta by hand your mom would make it from scratch yeah yeah there's no such thing as tomatoes and frozen peas any of that shit never 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 it had to be fresh yeah things Always. have changed now it's just a bunch of processed bull it's what's yeah. easy yeah that's why americans so chubby yeah yeah let's I take got, a little break b i got something to talk about dude okay i have i do too and yeah. it is breaking news it's breaking news sperm counts are way down okay listen to this listen to this one in ten men have a low sperm count one in six couples will experience infertility 50 percent of those cases are attributable to sperm access experts say we are facing a sperm crisis by 2024. And there's a lot of uh, factors uh, that are doing this. That includes uh, obesity epi epidemic, your diet, pollution, they say. Yep, yep. None of this is good. Sperm quality peaks around age 30, then declines 1% each year. Isn't that crazy? Not yours, dude. Am I yeah. right? Right. Am I right? On, you, Al Pacino. Man. That's right. And by the way, testosterone therapy actually lowers sperm production facts yep okay facts sperm quality peaks around age 30 then declines one percent each year unless you're brian Callen. contrary to conventional wisdom not every man can produce healthy children at any age by age 45 men have six times the risk of infertility in, uh, uh, of infertility or producing a child with birth defects or neurological issues such as autism, okay? It says vasectomies are reversible in only about 30% of cases. So if yep. you thought about doing that, it's a good idea to freeze your sperm before you get the vasectomy in this case you change your mind. So listen. Let Tell them about legacy, dude. Let's talk about this legacy. This is great. Legacy provides sperm testing and freezing from home eliminating the need for visits to a doctor or traditionally fertility so clinic. awkward right i've been there you know what i mean about you you have you uh, many of times they give you porn your you gotta, room yeah. it's a vhs tape it's wow. cold god unfamiliar territory you don't wow. have the usual setup correct legacy sends a sample collection kit to your client's home men produce a semen sample at home a money shot send the kit back with 20 within 24 hours the kit contains transport media that keeps the sperm sample fresh until it arrives at the lab the sample is analyzed at a lab and sperm health results five industry standard metrics of sperm quality the same provided by a traditional fertility clinic are securely sent to the client's phone within 48 hours of them mailing the sample if a client chooses to freeze their sperm the sample is split and securely stored in two Count them two locations to protect it from natural disasters. And uh, Dude, they off offer yeah. a variety of storage plans ranging from one to 25 years for the cost of a few cups of coffee a month. It's not a ton of money to freeze your sperm right now. Wow. And they'll keep it <coughs> safe and locked up for one to 25 years. It's time to take your future into your own hands. Testing, freezing your youngest, healthiest sperm keeps all your future options open. Legacy offers sperm testing and freezing you can do 100 from your crib to see if sperm testing and freezing is right for you visit legacy.com use the promo code fighter you get 10 percent off that sperm stuff that's give legacy g-i-v-e legacy.com promo code fighter to freeze your spermies mm. dude let me ask you this are you the same you were 10 years ago i'm not yeah you kind of are kind your face are. isn't but your energy levels yeah, yeah. Well, even my energy, it's, it's, a, it's work, it's work, you get older, that's what happens. Look, nobody beats father time at 57, this is what's going on. Yeah, your testosterone goes down, that means less muscle, more body fat, they call it the man hormone, Brian calls it the fire, that's right. Fire. And there's a real solution to stop testosterone from just plummeting. Yeah. All right, there's the powerful testosterone booster, Nugenix, Total T, all right, it revives Nugenics. your energy, puts Total fire T. back in the uh, bedroom, your old self is right back, you're feeling amazing. Are you ready? Are you really ready to lose your shape? Wait, your so muscle, this, this, your this energy. Is a way of tapping the brakes on the aging process. Is that what you're saying? That's right, dude. All right. So because every day that passes as you get older, you do lose testosterone. That's what happens. Your body just stops making it. That's okay. why Nugenics Total T Testosterone Booster with Tesnor will help you turn back the clock and re-energize your life. Prove it yourself. Try Nugenics Total T before you buy. There's nothing to lose and everything to gain. New, new energy, energy, muscle, muscle drive, drive passion. passion. That's it. Get your complimentary sample pack when you text 231 231 enter the keyword fighter mm -hmm. and it's backed by clinical studies real science nugenics key ingredients like testinor they have real data to show it boosts your free testosterone in bros it's backed by science it works all right um you, you can get, get a complimentary bottle of nugenics total t when you text 231 231 
Enter the keyword fighter. Text now. Get a bottle of Nugenics Thermo X, the newest and most powerful fat incinerator ever, with key ingredients to help you lose fat and get lean fast, absolutely free. Text 231231. Enter keyword fighter. Text 231231. Enter the keyword fighter. Text enrolls you in a recurrent automated text messages. Consent net not required to purchase. Message and data rates may apply. Number one doctor recommended brand by primary care physicians based on independent survey conducted by IQVIA 2022. Nugenics. Keyword fighter. Yeah. Um, so it's nice to talk to Chael on uh, Monday, huh? Yeah. Good old Chael. Good old Chael. Fantastic. It's interesting. Dude, how about, you know, you and I were talking about that Ryan Garcia and uh, Devin Haney fight. The more I look into it, mm. the boxing experts. I mean, everyone's picking Haney, even if Ryan wasn't compromised mentally. Damn. But then some people are on the side of, oh, is is Ryan Garcia just trolling everybody and make it seem like he's out of control? Mm. You know, so. Yeah, but what do you think? I don't, because the, if it was like a, as they say, a troll job, he, it's not smart because I, because I think we've always said this: social media is different than the real world, right? Yeah. So. When he posts this crazy stuff like these women and these girlfriends and these crazy rants and you know all the the weird like illuminati stuff it gets millions of views but th those views don't equal yeah ticket sales yes. and if you look at ticket sales if it is a troll job his pr team or uh, management team should go we gotta switch it up man the fights this weekend we haven't sold many tickets people aren't liking it because the mm. true boxing fans, which you know, they're old school, man. They don't they don't get down with that shit. Now TikTok does and the younger audience does. Right. But the boxing heads, the people that are gonna pay for tickets go, Oh, we thought this was gonna be an awful fight for him already. Uh -huh. Now he's mentally unstable. Right. Oh no, we're not even buying it. Like we're we're not going to the fight. Because there, there's so many tickets. Do you see what he posted yesterday? He was supposed to throw out the first pitch at the Mets game. And then said, for no reason whatsoever, the Mets told me I couldn't do it. I'm leaving. De La Hoya was with him when he was walking out. And he was like guerrilla style filming this, screaming like, F the Mets. I'm done with the Mets. They pulled me from the field so I couldn't throw the pitch. Was it true? I doubt it. It looked, yeah. Let me refresh this. And did uh, De La Hoya say anything? Mm -mm, he's just in the background. Let's watch. Hold up. Just wasted three hours of our life to say at the end, we can't throw the pitch. For whatever reason, there was no reason. There was no reason, and they kicked us out for no reason. So everybody, uh, I'm personally gonna say, fuck the Mets. Don't ever go to a fucking Mets game again. Fuck the Mets. So guys, the Mets just wasted three. It's not the way to handle it. I mean, he's a young kid. I, somebody at the Mets might be like, dude, he's posting some wild shit, man. We don't want him part of this team. I mean, you're talking about the New York Mets. Mm -hmm. They don't want he's any controversy. The yeah, they don't want any controversy. Nothing. So the Mets might have agreed to it because they booked this stuff far in advance. Mm -hmm. So they must have been maybe after his Javante Davis fight, whatever, like, yeah, we're down, you know? And then they see all this, like, we don't want anything what, to do with what, this. What, um, that's really weird, too. Like, do you see what he posted yesterday? Because they, him and Devin Haney had a, you know, uh, kind of a square off, and Devin Haney, like, you know, pushed him in the face. Then on, on his, you don't have to go that, Jim, just go to his, uh, yeah, yeah. his Instagram. It has, uh, scroll down the, the, the tweet that, see with the rainbows? Do you see the rainbows or no? Yeah, see, see the the all black one, the one that looks like a tweet. There it is, there it is. So he says, "Devin touched me without my consent. I'm suing him for putting his hands on me. I identify as a woman, oh so he touched me as a grown man and hit a grown woman. And I'm LGBTQ plus, so now it's a hate crime. Now this is so effed up with a bunch of rainbows. But then he also says, "Psych, obvious." It's kind of funny. I mean, yeah, he's just, he's joking. He's kind of joking. I around. mean, you know, I get it. I get that he's just. Where being are his silly. parents? Like uh, someone needs I don't to step think they probably lost control at this point. I don't think. No, he, no, he, he he's close with his parents. Yeah. That's what's alarming. He's super like he has a good family. He's super religious. And then the stuff he was in post about women and stuff. Like I don't. There's troll jobs like what Dylan Dennis does and Colby and let this stuff. And then this, it's like, oh, this isn't this isn't fun anymore. I don't know. I I don't so much mind that comment. I'm saying. Um, I worry you, about you would that, mind it if you that, followed closer of yeah. what's going on because that right. it just that's one example if, if if he was posting like real stuff and how serious he is about this fight and he posts that's like all right that's silly 
but because it's mm-hmm. nonstop kind of this cringy stuff all the time. Right. And then you do that, you're like, oh, there's just another fucking Is weird. I, remember, like, I think his family or his w- ex-wife or something, they, they posted on their uh, Twitter or Instagram saying like, you know, he's not in the right mind right now. Something's happening. Like That's things are happening. Like, yeah. I feel like this, this young man suffers from like, something schizophrenia of some kind like something it's yeah. a bit of there's click on that one says form. what is this garcia haney interview watch this, this. was such this a trip, is yeah. serious too they're sitting down to promote the fight watch this they edit it pretty well though NGQ, doing what i do all white looking nice okay come through i don't know if ryan garcia is taking a fight serious or not <laughs> it's actually <laughs> It's funny, but I don't know. I it's, see, I, I, t- what see, again, I think it's funny to you guys because you haven't been following it. It's not funny because, when, when because you. I'm saying the edit because is you think funny, he's yeah. being serious here. Like in other words, you think. Uh, yeah, I don't think. On. Yeah, it, it like that. That's very. That's yeah, not funny. Then no, that's yeah. I'm just like, oh boy, this. And of course, the and social you, social media is eating it up, and he's at you know uh, millions of views, and like, oh, this is right, cool. Right, right, but right. then at the end of the day, has, you're has, not selling fight tickets. And the other thing you got to remember is he had that knockout loss against Javante Davis. Most people would say this is a nightmare of a matchup for him, like horrible matchup for him. And he decides to jump into this fight. Doesn't make a ton of sense. So is there a part of him where it's self, self-sabotage? self And he doesn't really – he's made so much money. So is he just like, yeah, who? Where, how am I going to make the most money? Javante Davis, awful matchup. Give me that. Gets knocked out. Um Devin Haney, sh- how much money? Yeah, give me that. Because he's not in it for the long haul. There's that, mm. you know, where it's like I a self-sabotage. I think something else is going on. That feels like, like, I watch some of the stuff. It feels like he's, there's, so, there, I, I, you said there might be some evidence he's had this, a history of this kind of behavior. Yeah, depression. Well, depression. He's talked he about spoke it. About yeah, it. depression. But I'm talking about what seems to be a bit of schizophrenic behavior. Yeah. Where he's talking and making no sense. So and and you can tell when somebody's being funny, and then you can tell when somebody is not quite there. Well, before that, with all the Illuminati and the, like the child trafficking, he's like, they showed me the videos of yeah, all that stuff. That's a good example. And then he posts a video, like you could tell he's reading from a screen, and he's like, I am no longer posting on social media. My team is going to take my phone. You know, it's like this weird. Yeah, this is thing. like the Britney Spears stuff. Yeah, yeah, she it seems is like so it. clear now. You see. Like you were saying. The dad's like, okay. Yeah, you're like, All right. so you're, oh, the dad's saying, no, no, these people are hold. Well, now you see she is, and now she's divorced from this guy. She's so also, clearly think, not in also, her right mind. Also, what was, and social media was the main driver and fuel behind that thing. Oh, she's giving us subliminal messages. We got to free her and they, they're rioting and they're causing all this uproar <laughs> and they put so much pressure. Finally, the dad's like, all right, cool, do it. How'd that work? But the, the, again, social media made it seem right. like the dad had these constraints and, and she can't even leave the house. I mean, I'm and, not, I don't but because we don't really know, yeah. you just see on social media and you're like, "Oh, they're right. This is so awful. We got a free Britney hashtag free Britney and there's T-shirts." But the dad, those people that know that the real world, not yes. social media, is going. No, you guys don't know what you're talking about. You guys, you're seeing these clips. I, had I have com- to live with it. I had a conversation with two of her dancers one time. They came mm-hmm. to my show, stand up show, a long time ago. And they alluded to this in a way. They alluded to, they said, I remember they said something kind of like, she's got a good life. She makes a lot of money. Um, and I said, and, and what is, is she a strange person? And she's, then they, they, one of the girls I remember said something like, she goes, she's, she's, she can be out there, you yeah. know, kind of went like that. I went, ah, okay. And then my buddy went on a date with her. And they went on a date. Oh, didn't you say she was on the phone the whole Literally time? Literally the whole time doing this. The whole time like this. Literally. Brittany. Not the While they're Brittany. eating. Okay. Yeah, Brittany. Like this. My buddy's just going, hey, you, want, you want some a drink? She goes, no, I'm, a cool, I'm cool. Thanks. The whole time. And then my buddy goes, that was fucking weird. Her manager calls my buddy and says, she had a good time. She wants, she wants to do it again. And he was like, well, fucking obviously no. How weird is that that the manager followed up? Yeah. Like she really enjoyed it. She liked your eyes. Yeah. Said you smelled well. Fucking weird, man. Isn't that weird? Yes. The whole thing's weird. Like I would have been out of there. But again, this whole thing, not to get away from Haney and Garcia, this whole thing, it's again, it's this social media like onslaught that convinces, again, the people on social media one certain thing, but it's not real. Like with Ryan, what he's doing, it's getting views, getting clicks. But it's not selling actual pay-per-views and ticket sales. That's the real world. 
So the people that buy the tickets are going, oh, this is terrible. But again, right. Ryan, who's massive on social media, is going, man, people are liking this. I'm, I'm trending. I'm getting a lot of views. It's like, but just because you're trending, getting views, doesn't mean that's a good thing. That's right. That's exactly right. So I right. think for him, <clears throat> it's this battle of, you know, money-wise, he's set. You'd think, unless he was just crazy with his money, but he's made a ton of money. There's some tough matchups. Skill for skill wise, boxing, there's nothing he can do. Really? To, to, with is that is that much of a mismatch? big time. Big time. Now he hits he's a knockout artist and he has that the the chance where if he rushes him in like the first one or one, two, three rounds, if he comes forward and takes some chances, he, you know, maybe he gets lucky, a punch his chance for sure. He hits hard. Well, but and, outside and that, oof, tough. Tough, tough, tough. Wow. Tough. So I maybe a bit of it's like self sabotage, you know? So and he, he, also, he, he it's, it's making an excuse, too, where it's like, yeah, it's a oh, parachute. It's a I parachute. wasn't doing well mentally. I wish I didn't do that. I felt forced. Like, we might get a story after this, you know, so where it's it's already setting himself up because it is a bad matchup. This to, is at 35? Uh, yes. You know, so it could be could he, be tough. He looked like he was putting on some weight, but then I see other pictures of him, and he looks really thin. Um, he can't fight at 45, just not big enough for 47. Ah. <sighs> One forty, because thirty five was tough for Devin. Yeah. 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 It's, oh, a, yeah. it's all it's all weird. Oh, sorry. They're, fighting, they're a, fighting at forty. They're fighting okay. at one forty. All right. It's all weird. You just gotta hope for the best. But yeah, take sales are not great. Wow. Well, when is this fight? Saturday. Yeah, April twentieth. What time do we know? You know, at night, bro. <laughs> On what? The zone? The zone, yeah. Tough. Some of us are busy Saturday already. Yeah. Yes. I mean, I'll watch it. I, I don't have the mm. zone. 11 p.m. Eastern. Oof. All right. So 8? Yeah. 8 o'clock. The ring walks for them is at uh, 8. That's great. Hmm. Wow. That's going to be interesting how that goes. It's going to be really interesting to see. I mean, you know, be great if Ryan wins. I love Ryan, but if he loses, you know, it's tough, man. Fuck yeah. It's tough. It's tough with his management to, you know, get him this fight. Obviously, huge payday, but uh, stylistically. Yeah. Oof. He's still got star power, Ryan Garcia. Um, Again, star power in regards to social media. Right. He's a, he, yeah, on social media, Trump's. Devin Haney, mm -hmm. not even close. Now only one, now fans. only one of them ranked in the top six pound for pound rankings. I think Ryan's not even ranked in you know at one forty one forty five is not in the top five. Devin Haney's ranked I think six pound for pound in the world. So when it comes again, so it's, it, they're two you're, they're two different worlds. In the real world, Devin Haney's a much bigger thing when it comes to boxing skills and well, have you as far seen as this, having a career. This is what's happening in life. Have you seen this new this new app where you can you can it's an app where you can post a picture or a video and you will it, you will go viral and every all your contacts will say amazing things to you and you'll get all this engagement. But how do you, how do you go it's all fake? Oh, it just it's shows it. It's not like real people. It's an, it's an AI that sh that that makes you that gives you everything except for it's not real. It's really weird. Can so, you go back Go back up there? So then why would you do it? It's really weird. So Bud Crawford is... Earl's, Earl's 10. Is 10. This is for 2023 because 2024 just started. Uh, Shakur, Shakur Stevenson. Stevenson. Monster. Tyson Fury. This is all pound for pound ranking? Yeah, just pound for pound. So Devontae Davis, this, 7. This is 2023. Yeah, but 2024, is just, we're only halfway in there. So Devin, Devin Haney's Haney's six. A, okay. He's a killer. Ball, yeah, monster. Killer. Canelo, four. Usyk, three. Oof. This guy's awesome. Yeah, God, he's amazing. Man. I like to watch that guy. Terrence Crawford, yep. number one. Yeah, that, that makes sense. sense. You see what I'm saying? Like, Ryan's not, a, I mean, he can't no. sniff the pound for pound. No. Do you think Devin Haney belongs above uh, Javante Davis? He's good, man. Ain't he so good? His fundamentals are insane. Insane. So good. 
best jab in boxing. Really? By far. Super talented. N not not a knockout artist. Mm -hmm. Like if he were to knock out Ryan, that'd be a little surprising. I think he beats him by decision. But it depends what version of Ryan we get. Mm. Yeah, but for, for Ryan, yeah, you know, he has all this fame, you know, uh, but on social media. Big difference. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's a guy, there's guys like that. That's what's insane about Sugar Sean is he was a guy where his fame outshined his kind of credentials in fighting because he got really famous off Dana White's Contender Series, right? And Snoop Dogg and Uriah and that knockout. And so he was this massive star all of a sudden. So his up. followers outshined his actual talent. But then over time, and then he caught up to it. Yeah. And he is the guy we thought he was, you yeah. know? Where that's so rare. So it's rare. so fucking rare. Yeah. Yep. You can, yeah. That kind of style. That's got to feel good when he digs into your liver like that. Look at his fucking body caving. Oh, fuck. Yeah, that's, that's probably his big, like, and if you look at Ryan's biggest win, that's probably his biggest win. And there's that Dude. left hook. Campbell thought he was going to come up. Oh, my God. Yeah, Campbell. He, and uh, now Campbell was uh, a... knocked him down. Campbell was a, a gold medalist in the Olympics. Didn't have a great pro career, but in the Olympics, he's a stud. Yep. But it's Ryan Garcia's best win. Yep. And he still got knocked down. Almost, almost got knocked out in that fight. What do you think the odds are of Ryan Garcia taking on one of the Paul brothers then? Mm. Probably pretty good. In the future, pretty good, the way he's going. Mm -hmm. That'd be interesting to see him fight Jake Paul because Jake's a lot bigger, but Ryan's a better boxer. Yeah, that's more skilled. But he, he, he would be like the guy that crosses over, you know? Okay. It makes sense. How many followers does he have? Ryan? Yeah. Oh Almost 11 God. million. You know, he's massive. Look how many uh, Haney has. But yeah, I, I could see him um, doing something like that, which isn't a great thing, you know? Like Javante Davis, Canelo Alvarez, 2.8. Devin Haney's not going to do that stuff, you know? Because they're, they're focused on boxing. They don't really Haney's care about the thing. He's not that much shorter either. From what I've seen, when they're look at that. No, they look pretty similar. Oh well, Dora the Explorer backpack. <laughs> Jake said that. Yeah. <laughs> Jake's hilarious. Yeah, I like know. this. Just curious, what's you know even know about his mom? Like, why even bring that up? <laughs> <laughs> Just the nice guy jumping in the comments. Just curious, why bring Damn, others in? Not a conspiracy. Ryan is a hoe. Four days long. <laughs> <laughs> Not a conspiracy. Ryan is a hoe. That's yeah. funny. And Devin, you don't. He's just oh, calm, man. cool. Yeah, collect. Devin's mom died last month. Did it? Did yeah. she? Oh yeah. Ugh, that's shitty. Yeah. Man. That that's is horrible. Bad. That's, that's terrible. Cool. What the fuck, dude? That's not cool. It's just not good. It's not good trash talk. It sucks. Get better at trash talk. Fuck. Ugh. Oh, and Brian said, where's your mom, bitch? Yeah. Oh, well, God. That's not cool. But is that fake? Is that playing into it? Wait, we've heard fighters call out other fighters' family before, right? Not when they're dead. No, you're saying I, you're saying is the mom dying fake? No, I'm saying like is that something they've already pre-discussed? Like, no. Okay, you're going to mention my mom. Uh -uh. No. Uh uh. Because I thought MMA fighters have done that in the past. Mm. They brought up dead dads and stuff. No. Because hmm? um, there was someone who did do that, and it looked it it, it went really bad. Oh, uh, uh, Drikus Duplisi did it to yeah. Strickland. Yeah, what did not go well. Did not go well with anybody. Yeah, it was a horrible look. Oh, I'm gonna if beat you up if, the way your dad did. Or something I'm gonna like beat that. you worse than your dad did. Right? That's what it was. That's yeah, what it was. people don't like that shit. I'm only seeing like a grandmother that died. I don't yeah, see I his mother died. I don't know if it's his mom. So his mom may not be in the picture. I don't know what's going on. But that's so just <sighs> bad. It's not a great face there, right? So it says rest in power. So it's just his grandma. Yeah, that's what I. That's all I can see. Wolf is. 
Yeah, there must be something deeper it's there. Be, I don't know. Uh, Maybe it's making us Google it, so it's making making it more of a big deal. I don't know. Just go hit on that. Did it, did Devin? Hey, where's your mom, bitch? Let, let me see that. Control, he didn't say enough. Yeah, maybe this is the tell us. Turn the box around this weekend. You're drunk. I'm going to drown you. I'm going to drown you. You can't F with me. You can't F with me. I see it in your eyes. I see it in your eyes. Where's your mom at? Where's your mom, bitch? Where's your mom? Where's your mom? B. Where's your mom at B? Where's your fat ass mom? Where's your fat ass mom? Okay. Hmm. And but then we already saw that video. Uh, no, we see that video. Yeah. Keep going down, Jen. It's unclear uh, so, what happened to Haney's mother. However, his grandmother reportedly played a big role in his upbringing and passed away last month. So it's his um, grandmother then. Yeah, his grandmother. So his mom may not so much be there. Yeah, so maybe like that his grandma was like his mom. That's why he's so upset. Yeah, his, well, his mom, I don't think his mom has been around. Yeah. I think that's what so he's, he's saying. So he's saying where's his mom, mom at? Is not really present. Yeesh. So mom hasn't been in the picture. I mean, there are better ways to get under someone's skin and not be a I mean that'd do it, but also if you're Ryan Garcia, you're trying to piss Devin off so bad because yeah, Devin's like a counter puncher, very strategic, doesn't take you know doesn't get hit, doesn't take a lot of risk. Ryan needs him to open up to knock him out. So maybe he's you know doing the Connor thing with Aldo where he, he, they just get so upset, they get you know so emotional and he comes forward. Right. So there's that play. Okay. I don't know if he's doing that, but one could assume. One could assume. One could hope. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough. Not good, buddy. Not good, pal. I know. I'll watch the fight, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm going to watch it. Saturday night. It's going to be a good fight. You won't watch it. You'll be, on stage. It. You'll be on stage. No, because I won't be on stage till 10.30. Oh, yeah. And they're at fight at 8. I got two so shows. You'll be able I got to see a show it. Friday at 9.45, Saturday at 9.45. One show Friday, Brand. one show Saturday. Brand, bro. That's it. Yeah, you'll be able to watch it. Bricktown Comedy Club, April 26th and 27th. Come see that in Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Come on now. Boy, rare you get to watch a fight if you're on the road. That's rare. Nice. Super rare. Yeah. But I'll also have to drive down. You know, we'll figure it out. Oh, yeah. It's fine. I'll get it. Yeah, that drive's not fun. You'll be all right. I'll be fine. All right, what do you got, Chin? Let's take a break. Let's take a break, dude. What are you looking, are you looking at right now? Uh, dude, I'm always just fantasizing about True Classic always, sending me the same yeah, crew neck that you got I'm on. I'm almost always double layered here. I got my True Classic sweatshirt. I got my Clue. And it's True hot Classic out. That's how much white. you love it. I know. I just like the way it hugs my body. True Classic is the best of the best. Of course, they make the best t-shirts which you guys already know because we use it for thick boy merch they make the best t-shirts ever best we know this you need a three pack they got the spring colors popping right now for a limited time you get 25 percent off when you shop right now with the exclusive offer trueclassic.com trueclassic.com slash fighter now tell me well, oops I'm telling you right now their sweatshirts give the t-shirts a run for their money they're good the sweatshirts are the outstanding. hoodies the joggers I, I can't get enough they got button-ups everything about they got it. jeans and then they definitely got the true classic vibrant new collection for the spring so you're gonna look in just cute everybody in just this, cute in, in, in thick boy wears true classic it's all we wear everybody it's everywhere Shin, you're the only straggler i don't see you wearing true classic do you I wear, wear it all the time? He has a built shirt on right now. So even he does. <laughs> even he does. My underwear. All right. No, oh, nice, right. dude. So if you're Thank ready you. to upgrade your closet and look like everyone at Thick Boy, shop right now. When you go to trueclassic.com slash fighter, you get 25% off uh, your first order. Please support the show. Tell them we sent you. No matter how you move, make 2024 your most comfortable year yet with True Classic. Trueclassic.com slash fighter. 25% off. Let's take a little break, B, because, Let me say dude. One thing as we take our break. What's I'm the break? The Brea Improv Friday and Saturday. Hell yeah, dude. This While you're going there, stop at the gas station oh, and get some of those awful erection pills. You know what? So you get lightheaded and you have a boner for eight years. I would do that. The problem is getting those boner pills. I don't know who makes them. I don't know who. Oh, I got an idea. Them. Why don't you get some of those prescription pills and they have awful side effects? Oh, you mean like. Or. Like, yeah. Or, or don't name to, them. Don't name them. Or mm -hmm. you could mm -hmm. just use the all natural back by science joy mode. That's right. That's right, dude. It's like pre-workout, but for, for your wiener. That's what it is. It is. It's a sexual performance booster designed to support erection quality and firmness. How about that? And sex drive. It contains cl clinically supported doses of arginine, nitrate, 
L-citrulline, Panax ginseng, vitamin C, all of it helps boost levels of, you know, uh, nitrate, which promotes- We already uh, stopped listening, dude. Just know it is good for it's you. Good for it's also good for you. It's like a pre-workout, man. Health, yes, healthy yeah. blood pressure and just general erectile function. It got but you it covered. Also, it also supports athletic performance in and outside the gym, healthy blood pressure. Dude, take it. You probably dunk a basketball with a boner. Well, that'd you ever be, done that in your no, life? That's something I would pay good money to Can't see. Can't make any guarantees. I know you're vert, but that's guarantee it. will give you a boner. That's it. It's very easy to drink six to eight ounces of water. Uh, it's like an electrolyte pack and you're ready to rock yep. and roll. So if you want to spice things up in the bedroom and boost your sexual performance and do it naturally without the nasty prescriptions, dude, we got you covered. Uh, we got a special offer for you guys. Go to usejoymode.com slash fighter. Enter the code fighter at checkout for 20% off your first order. That's usejoymode.com slash fighter for 20% off your first order. Thanks, Joy Mode. Thank you, Joy Mode. And it's your birthday. You want to get out of here? <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Uh, first one's, uh, remember... I'm sure you guys have all seen this already. The Armin Surukin punching a fan that was in the crowd. I guess the guy was flipping him off. Yeah, and look at this guy, by the way. Here's the thing. And Armin was saying that uh, he goes, "I'm from I'm from Russia." That like you do don't that. Don't do that stuff. Yeah, he's like, you, that. if you do that in Russia, did you ever yeah. see the difference between when the guy was had this horn and he go Burr! like that, and I think he did it in Sweden, and guys like whoa like that. He tried that shit in Russia. <laughs> they fought him. Now everybody knew how to fight too. Yeah. Everybody was like, bah, bah, bah. And so they, they come right at him, and he started getting his face yeah, they're, punched. They're so this guy, bunch. I mean, just just first of all, look at his face. Does he? He seems like. I don't know. A dick? Doesn't he? I'm just, I, I don't mean to be a dick, but I mean like. Just, well, but uh, what's weird is they, I saw in the interview he had, someone interviewed him. I forget what out. Bloody Elbow. Was it blood, yeah. I, thought, blood, I thought Bloody Elbow folded. No, Not a it's, business. it's still around. And they uh, and they said that he, oh, he said that he just flipped him off. Nothing else. Didn't call him out. Didn't try to do anything. Yeah. He, he was like, I him like off. him. I just flipped him off. I, you know, I had some drinks. Yeah. He was like, the UFC 300 was so just fun. Just fun. I mean, but I don't, that's a douchebag move. Yeah, a, lot douche a lot of haters are, are, and look are at, doing that. It's like look WWE. what he says here, too. I like to apologize to Armin for provoking and flipping him off. He's a man. He's a man. But Art. keep reading. <laughs> no, he's I was he's, buzzing all day in the moment it got to me. It was my first time attending a live UFC event. It was absolutely incredible. I'm glad the incident wasn't bad as it could have been. Because they could have kicked him out. It, I, I do want to make Armin could have jumped in the crowd. I, I didn't yeah. pull him towards me, yell out offensive words or anything out of nature. I flipped him off. Nothing else. Congrats to Armand. On his great performance and best of luck to him against whoever he fights for the title. He's a man. He said sorry. Uh, men, <laughs> good. Men, men, men don't flip other men off. Good. That can he beat had a you moment. Up. Especially like yeah, you're why I wouldn't define him as a man. Like a, a, a man moment. doesn't go to a professional event and yeah. then flip another man off who can beat you he up. He apologized. He probably what he really wanted uh, to answer you know. Dana White's uh, comments. Remember Dana soon. said like, oh, we're probably gonna get sued for yeah, this. Yeah, as soon right? as the press conference Dan goes, we're getting sued because yeah. he fighter hit a fan. He goes, I will not sue. That never crossed my mind. My first thought was, I hope I don't get kicked out. Thank you, Uncle Dana, for blessing us with an amazing 300 card. And can you bless me and my brothers up with tickets to UFC 303? What the Absolutely hell, not. dude? Absolutely he seems not. like such a douchebag. I can't believe you defend this guy. You Which love guy? it? Which guy? This, this is guy that, tool. Oh, this is the guy that flipped Sarukin. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, fuck no. Oh, oh, oh. I won't sue. Just give me some tickets. Uh, you got to add that up? Come on, guys. It's he just seems like a douchebag. You can bless me with and my brothers with tickets to the UFC three hundred three. Dan's like, get the fuck out. Where's yeah, exactly. this guy? Where is that guy from? I want to know where that fucking guy is from. Ah, uh, damn him it. <laughs> Look him up. Does it matter? It kind of does. He's American. Yeah, but why does it matter where he's from? I don't know. Let, no, let's not have the podcast come to a screeching halt. He's a cocky guy. <laughs> we'll do. We'll talk about it on the next show. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We'll look into well, it. Well, he's, he's Arden. Is is, is that is that is that uh, Russian? Yeah. Obed. Arden. Arden. Oh, he's, I think he's probably Israeli. Uh, I, yeah, we have to do some yeah. deep diving. I don't no, think I'm, 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 I'm sure Obed Arden is a, is a, I think he's probably Israeli. Descent, but I bet you he's American. Oh, so this happened in uh, Australia. There was like a, some terrible person that had a knife and killed six people, Jesus. injured 12. <sighs> and this guy is a French guy that was living on a, in, in Australia on a visa. Yeah, he uh, he took a like a a pillar, a plastic pillar, and tried to di you know, attack him with that. I'll just show you. the the clip is super super short though, but you'll see here. So this is the attacker on the left, and this guy is trying to like, Dude, fight him, stop scary. him. And did he stop him, or the guy just went down? No, so yeah, so he actually made him back up to the point where a police officer 
saw the guy that with the knife and shot him. Killed okay. him? Killed oh, him. Kill him. He's what dead. What a piece yeah. of shit, good. man. He's dead. But good. girls are loving this guy now, right? So, uh, yeah, he's a hunk. And plus, the uh, the prime minister, his prime, I think, yeah, I think it's prime minister of Australia is giving him permanent citizenship to yeah. Australia because he was there for the visa. And it, it only lasts a certain amount of time. <sighs> yeah, like, Dude, what like, a horrible thing! Some asshole comes in. And yeah, and this guy, and then girls are loving this guy. So I want to show his you. His first victim, he went to stab a mom pushing a baby. No, he didn't. Please kill them. It's mom. all yeah. He attacked he all the women, all yeah. women oh, for some Jesus reason. Christ. Yeah. So that's the guy. He's a fr he's from oh, France. Oh my god. A little dime, some green eyes. So yeah. the dime part, right? And then I saw this picture he with his teeth. Killed a mom pushing her fucking kid. Oh wow! The his teeth, teeth does like affect, a bull shark. It does. Yeah. yeah, the teeth does affect your face so much, right? <laughs> <laughs> I want to say bull shark. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, with his mouth closed, he's a dime. Yeah, his he's like, open. he's like ah. Fuck. See right there, like yeah, yeah that dude's hot. God, that and then he opens his mouth. Killed, you're like, holy shit! A woman shit. pushing a baby carriage. This, uh, yeah, I don't know the details of the, guy, the deaths. I do. But, yeah, it's horrible. Yeah. <sighs> but that's him. Uh, anyway, man, they, he should get a veneer sponsor. That's what they should hook him up with. Like, dude, you get Australian citizenship and veneers, or just dime. get Invisalign. Let's mm -hmm. start with that. Oh no, 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 buddy. He that's beyond. No, he has to definitely get some stuff yeah. done. No, there's sure. a lot of reconstructive yeah. work there. Yeah. Just some, just some. uh <laughs> Holy fuck, Those dude. strong teeth. Believe, dude, teeth he's are, a hero, though. Yeah, he's That's a hero. That's all that matters, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, this fucking piece of shit, though. You can't get over that, huh? No. Uh, veneers, veneers would really help him out. Yeah. Yeah. And he should definitely get it f for free now. Yeah, someone should offer him some sort of deal. I'm sure they will. Because yeah. we're not the only ones looking at his teeth going, holy shit, bud. Man, that's a rough... Uh, Damien Garot. Um, all right, next. All right. So, uh, Shohei Otani is interpreter... It's done, guys. There, Shohei has been wiped clean of these gambling issues. It's all his interpreter. And now his attorney is coming out and saying, you know what? We did it. We're taking blame for it. But what's coming out that's super important are the dollar amounts. It's hilarious. Shin, if you scroll down a little bit. Mm -hmm. So if you look down there, it says between November 2021 and January 2024, he made over 19,000 bets. 19,000 bets. From, from $10,000, which is hilarious. Would means you you're such an addict. To a degenerate. Would you call, uh, to, would you to, call that an addiction? $10 no. to 160 per bet. The average bet being roughly 12800 oh So look, uh, Mazu Mazuhara had winnings bets of $142 million, and you're like, damn, he did well, but he lost $182 million That's how it goes. With a negative balance of $40 million. He lost $40 million. Who pays for that now? Well, let me ask you this. Yeah. Who believes this? You think Otani, at his high function level, had his interpreter gave him full access to his bank account? I do. I'll tell you the only reason I think that is because his interpreter is looking at real jail time, and nobody's doing real jail time for your boss unless. Oh yeah, you will. Yeah, you will. Yeah, not you will. eighteen years. You're not. You're gonna go. You're oh, they're not getting him eighteen. Years. Uh, he was the one doing. No, it. he's not getting eighteen years. They're not like, giving 18 years. It says it was a bank account in Arizona that was a private bank account that then Ms. Yohara, again, impersonated Otani to execute wire, transfer, wire transfers from the account to the bookies. He probably did it. Gamblers figure out a way. When you're an addict, you find a way. You think, think Otani's so. still the one? Yeah. yeah. Really? Hey, and thank God this guy took the fall. Otani, no, I mean, go I, Dodgers. I like that as a story, and I, that's what I thought for a while, but I, I'm... I'm thinking that I don't. I, how how much time is this guy looking at? Uh, the article doesn't say that. Because what they the first thing they do, but the, uh, the, 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 I mean the DA would o say Otani's hey, not pressing charges either, though. No, but I'm saying the first thing that the district attorney would do would be like, "You have something to tell us? Are you the one who did this? Because we want the big fish. That's what they do. Well, they don't want him taking it. That big fish is already under investigation because the supposed bookie is already someone that. The feds are looking into in yes. Newport Beach. Yeah. The he, highlight he, of this story to me, though, was there's an additional three hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars transferred from accounts because he was purchasing over a thousand baseball cards as well. So the guy's not just gambling; like he's buying and selling and getting into the baseball card business, which there's tons of money <sighs> in at the moment. <clears throat> this guy. I wonder if this guy has a history of this, though. Does he have a history of gambling? He's from Irvine, California. Mm -hmm. I'm also. I'm also curious. Um, how's it work? So let's let's say you were stealing money from me, but we're boys, so I didn't press. I, is, is it? You know what I'm saying? Like, 
Because I'm not pressing charges, are you cleared? No, because the uh, district attorney, because the state presses charges if you've done things fraud. like wire fraud and things like that. Yeah. I also heard that uh, Otani did like willingly turn in his phone, his cell phone, so they can look at it and they found nothing on it. So I don't know. Yeah, no, no, no. I, I think this guy might have been the one who did it. Like he faked it. I know the guy who knows the bookie super well and was the guy who went to the feds. I know a lot about this story, and he thought for sure it was Otani. That was the whole deal, right? But now it looks like it's probably the guy. Pretty crazy. Because the first thing that they want, so the first thing that the FBI wants is they want the guy who actually did the crime. They don't want, they don't want the guy who's covering. They want, they're like- No, they don't care. Yeah, they, want, they want the real yeah, thing. They yeah. want the real thing. Of course. So that's, what I, that's the only thing I'm thinking. That that bookie though is is under investigation. That bookie is already, I think, in custody. But why would so, the bookie be in trouble? He's just doing his job. Go well, to it's illegal everything. to do the gambling. Yeah, and that bookie had like twenty mini bookies under him that I know one by one they're getting after right now, and they're just trying to flip them all on each other. Yeah. Fuck, and yeah, people in that business are flipping yeah. for sure. But because it's what, illegal to be a bookie in California. Yeah, what, right? what are the charges against him? Because they're substantial. Know. Like they're really substantial. On top. Fraud, I think it was the biggest one was the fraud, and then. Can't you type in what what charges is insert name we can't spell? Uh, what charges is uh, Mizuharas looking at? Hey, either way, thank God it's not Otani. <laughs> even if it was, I told you I don't. Even if he would he did have a gambling problem, problem, it doesn't he's matter. Wrong. He's too he's too talented. Bank fraud. Bank fraud. A legend, thirty-nine-year-old, took advantage. Closest, uh, Tony, forty million. Okay, but it, and then bank fraud is uh, how long you go away for bank fraud? Well, the, the, for, uh, just take a look. It's not about that. He's he's being charged with. It. Listen, Chin. Yeah. Ask how, how? What? I'm just doing what Brent said. What is thirty Missouri, years? What is Missouri being charged with? That's what we did. Yeah, we just did that. Bank fraud. It, that's what it says. Yeah, charges in Missouri. It's over forty million. Oh, so he's looking at thirty years. Yeah, hey, a little steep, right? It's a little steep. A little steep. I know a guy who murdered a guy who got six years. Yeah, it's a little steep. It's like, like come on. I don't think he'll years? do that much time, but he'll do enough. Because you stole a lot. A lot. Supposedly. You still holding on to that? Yeah, I'm not buying it. Unless Otani's just mm. stupid as hell. Here, man, here's my bank account. They just wired $700 million and have fun. The Justice Department, justice officials announced criminal charges against Ipe right there. Go down there. Go on that, that article right there. I'll see. bet you what, he, can, he can't go to uh, Japan. Uh, you made Otani look bad? The, the face of the fucking country? Oh, yeah. Dude. He, can't, he can't go to Japan. Uh -uh. No, your favorite oh, yeah. sushi place? Out. <laughs> <laughs> Out. 100%. Even even in L.A., out. He's not welcome here, I think, boy. Yep. Out. <laughs> How dare you embarrass him? Tell me if you want to scroll, bro. Yeah, he was basically became the star's de facto manager. Uh, yep. The role in Nailing withdrawal money from the account. Oh, so, so he's more than a to bank interpreter. He was a manager. He was interpreting Ohani to bank employees to finance his insatiable appetite. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Boy, what a bad gambling. That's so much money. Wow, that's such a crazy addiction. $142 million? You, the only way you stop is by getting caught. I want to emphasize Couldn't Otani pick up like when he lost like a $40 million bet and he was in a bad mood for no reason? It's like, why do you care about a Clippers-Grizzlies game so much? <laughs> why do you like this right now? Why are you crying you know that LeBron made two free throws. This reminds me of like a. He dang said, "Technically, I did steal for him from him. It's all over for me." He faces up to thirty years in federal prison if he's convicted. You know what he has a to do? Single count of bank fraud. As a Japanese man, you know what he has to do? What? Take a sword. Hey, he should. I, I don't know if she should. But remember, Dana. Yeah. Uh, not Dana. Fucking uh, Dane Cook. His his brother-in-law. Dane's yep. working on his craft, right? Yep. And his brother-in-law just stole a ton of money from. Him. I think this I think happens. His brother-in-law stole all the time. eleven million dollars from. Him. Yeah, That's but, what I'm saying. Like, but his brother happened. was also like his manager, his half brother, yeah. which is like this, his business. Right? So I think yeah. that could happen if you're focused. If, if he's on his business thing. manager, yeah, he has act like like Lex could be stealing from me right now. <laughs> Who could Lex? Yeah, easily. He has I all could, that. I could be. 
I said, you're so busy working on content, right? Yeah, like, I, don't, you don't, I, don't, I don't pay attention exactly. to any of it. So this could happen. Well, you were stolen from. We were. Yeah, I was. Yeah, we were. Yeah. Both of us. But that guy, that makes sense, and we should have seen it from the jump. But like like, like a close manager or something, that would be heartbreaking. Of course it would So be. And maybe Otani was like, you know, he's like a brother. You never steal from me. Exactly. So, so he's it could like, happen. yeah, here's the bank count. You know what? I could see this, this happening. Is, this could totally bank. happen. Yeah, yeah. It oh, makes yeah. sense. But you probably want to go after Fuck. someone different. That's a lot of money, man. Forty million dollars. All right, dude. But th dude, here's the here's the takeaway. Think how much money Otani has where he didn't even notice. He didn't. A hundred and forty million dollars <laughs> is know. missing. That's like Sting had five. He's million. like what? When Sting, Howard Stern was interviewing Sting, and he goes, "So your your uh, manager or whoever was stole five million dollars. That's how much it was." He goes, "I think it, I think so." He goes, what do you mean think so? He goes, it was something like that. You know, it's probably maybe, maybe I think it's a little more. He goes, you don't even know? He goes, I mean, you know, I don't know. At Sting's level. Yeah, Sting. At Otani's level, like 142 million. Think how much money this dude has. Yeah. Well, was, well he looks at bank account, he's like, hell yeah. Even though it's missing 142 million. Yeah, no, I think, did he still steal a total of 16 mil? No, more than that. Oh, that and then turn it into 142, but lost, yeah. I don't know. Who the fuck knows? He it's might still owe the bookers money. Hmm. Anyway, all right. Oh, yeah, we've that 16 work. million, lost 40 million. Yeah. No, no. tight move. Yeah. But he won like 100 something million, lost 100 yeah. something million, then, yeah, whatever. Next. Well, he's got that backpack on. <laughs> this one. Oh, this is new. Yeah. Wait, Dad gets. Next one we got uh, former Dodgers pitcher Trevor Bauer. He was accused of uh, sexual assault allegations, and now his accuser is actually being arraigned on the 26th. Yep. This is important to know. Both women, both women that that said he beat them up and had all these details. One said he forced her to get an abortion. She was never pregnant. She has been. So the one girl we know, scumbag, put makeup on to fake her injuries. That's all been found out to be a complete lie. Also the lie. text. All the text. This is the first one that made the news. Yeah, but also the, the text. One, her text her friend like, oh, I'm going to get him. Yeah, I'm gonna get do that this. bag, bitch. Yeah. Yep, yep, it was all a ruse. I don't know if she said get that bag, oh, don't bitch. Don't you feel but... bad about ruining his career? She goes, not really. Total sociopath, total yep. scumbag. She's out there, still out there doing her shit. Terrible human being. But is then, there another guy going after her? Is that different? No, so this is the second woman who came out with this whole story. Trevor Bauer was like, oh, really? She's been sued. She's being sued by the state for fraud. She did this to another man. So she's being, I'm sorry, she's not being sued. She's being arrested. She's been arrested and charged with like 19 counts for, for, um, for felony extortion and fraud. Boy, he knows how to pick them, huh? She's a complete scumbag. And by the way, ready for this? She has accused 10 other men what? of sexual assault and harassment. Just That's how she makes hits. her living. Yeah, just one hit. That's how she makes her living. She, is, she should be in jail forever. These people are such scumbags. Then there were two other women who said some shit. They jumped on the train when they were pressed to go out in front of a jury and actually not perjure themselves. They were like, we don't want to do this. One girl was even sued by his first accuser to make, make, her, you know, make her corroborate. And she was like, fuck you. I'm not doing it. I'm not getting myself in trouble because so she's a fucking liar innocent? too. He's completely innocent. And, and no MLB team will take a shot no, at him. And he's like, he's playing he said in the Mexican league. In his fucking Cy in Young his winner. In, the, the, in, in his video, he goes, What more do I have to do to prove I'm innocent to go back to get earning a living? That's so yeah, you guys insane. like it's like and shame on all the fucking hopefully now the the baseball teams like the Yankees who need him. There are a lot of people that need him. Will will give this good person who doesn't deserve this a chance. This is cancel culture at its worst. This is me too at its worst. Yeah, I don't this get is it. These scumbag. At the end of it, it says Bauer has not been. Hold on, Chin. Bauer has not been arrested or charged with any Nothing. criminal wrongdoing. Think Nothing. how long ago that was. Yeah. So you think if you're the Dodge, you're like, all right, we, our bad. We we see what's yeah. going on. It was a mistake. You can you can understand how we were a little, you know. Uh, trigger happy on this. We don't want to deal with the PR, but we see nothing's wrong and bring him back. The girl was so Who dumb. Who would be upset This at fraudster that. was so dumb that he's got text after text of her saying, I want some of your sperm. Can we, will you sleep with me? I was trying to hit on you. Like after, after she's, then she went to the cops because you wouldn't give her 
3.6 million dollars scum oh, awful human that poor beings. guy man sociopaths used to they used to think that sociopaths were mainly uh belonged to the male population now they find that women they haven't studied it enough there are a lot of women who have zero feelings and they use reputation mm -hmm. destruction uh especially sexual allegations to ruin people's life fucking pigs scumbags that's terrible man yeah yeah and trevor bowers fucking doing the eastbound and down in mexico right now yeah yeah a young man fuck matt Ariza, what did he ever get to work he wasn't yeah. even in no he got picked up he did yeah oh that's so good oh you just found out that's so good yeah, he got picked, picked up, up. Um, oh i love hearing that he got picked up by a good it. a really good team oh i love that bob that makes me so happy that makes me was so it the happy. eagles that's so fucking good chiefs chiefs that's oh. right <laughs> superstar team. yes God bless. Isn't that cool? That makes me really happy. Yeah, I posted that the day that he got me signed. Really fucking happy. I said, it looks like I'm a Chiefs fan, even though I'm from Denver. Love it. Way to go, Matt. Isn't that great? Fuck yeah. Not only did he get on team, he got on the best team. I love that. There's sunshine at the end of that shitty Redemption. rainbow. Redemption. Let's take a little break. Listen, Fieldcraft Survival. There's an app. You want you you need you don't you are not ready for an emergency. You're not ready for a life that threatens. Who is situation. you? You need to get educated by professionals like our yourself. boys at Fieldcraft. You can do it with an app. You can literally do it with an app. They've got it's instructionals, tutorials on everything, on all the things that life throws at you when it's a dangerous situation. You can learn how to survive the the a worst case scenario, and they happen all the time. Go to Fieldcraft Survival. Go to the app. We have an offer, 35% off your annual subscription using the code FIGHTER35, or you can use code FIGHTER20 for 20% off training and product at fieldcraftsurvival.com. Don't be a sitting duck. Don't have a false sense of security. Train for the inevitable, which is that you will face a dangerous situation. Know what to do. Know what to Fieldcraft do. Fieldcraftsurvival.com, promo code FIGHTER20 for 20% off. Dude, I do a lot of podcasting throughout the week. I got all sorts of stuff going on. I'm fueled by Happy Hippo. If you have been on the fence about trying freaking Kratom, if you're on the fence about Kratom, all you got to do is look no further than Happy Hippo. They got Kratom in powder form, pills, gummies, taffies. They got the energy shots. They got the instant highly concentrated shots. Those are my favorite, the butterscotch. So if you're on the fence, because the Wild West out there, now's your time. Go to happyhippo.com. Promo code is THICK24 for 20% off for life. THICK24 with three Cs. That's happyhippo.com, THICK24 for 20% off for life. You're welcome. Let's, let's lighten things up, guys. Friend of the show, Chael. You know, Michael Visming just talked about a little pre-fight uh, weigh-in they had, which is really funny. I thought we should share the clip. We were both fighting on the same card, but we had different opponents. And then for whatever reason, it's a long story, somebody dropped out. So they rejiggled the card, and I was fighting Chael. And this was like 10 days before the fight. So we didn't really have time for anything to manifest or to brew. You know, there was no bad feelings couldn't, you know, arise. It was like right. before. This looks good. Chicago was stepping on the scale. Gotcha. And I remember I squared up to Chael on the, uh, the, the, the weigh-ins. Yep. And, you know, you try and do your bit, like, get in his face and, like, be yeah. fucking dead. And all that type of stuff. <laughs> hey, <laughs> but the action with that, it was so hard. Yeah, yeah. You're fucking dead. You're such a <laughs> <laughs> and I'm in there and I'm like, because I'm, I always used to give, not, not give him a head, but just like a little, you know, just a little touch, yeah. you know, because you're trying to insert your last minute dominance, you know, and Chael just said, what cologne are you wearing? You smell delightful. <laughs> oh, <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Both. Chael's great. Chael, fucking hilarious. I believe he beat uh, Michael up pretty bad there. I think he took him down. I forget him. that. I forgot fight. that fight yeah, too. I That's a good question. he had him on the ground a lot. He just kept double legging him and just fucking did the same thing to uh, to our boy um, Nate Marquardt. Yeah, he, he just his blast. Nate up. landed some good uh, jumping knees on him, but yeah, but and and Nate Nate said I should have wrestled him, but yeah, he he lost. Yeah, Chael beat him. Yeah, Chael beat him. Chael, Chael just kind of five round. Decision. I remember that just had him on the ground, just fucking. It was just a nightmare. It just kept grinding him. Just hard. Couldn't deal with his wrestling. And that gave uh, Chael the title shot. Yeah. Hmm. His draws. I saw Bisping grappling. at the UFC. He looks great. Yeah. He's a stud. Yep. Hmm. What else you got, Jen? 
Let me look. Hold on one sec. I forgot Bisping fought GSP. That was his biggest pay per view by far. Jesus. GS wait, Bisping GSP. fought GSP. Yeah, yeah, but BS GSP beat him. Yeah, this yeah. one. I'm saying it's his biggest pay per view. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm looking at here. What's this? So Stephen Ballmer owns the Clippers guys, and in their last home game, he decided to pick up all the concessions tabs for fans during the game. That's pretty cool. I mean, from the crap owner they had before yeah. to Sterling? like this. That's pretty, pretty cool. cool. Yeah, really cool. Now I don't know how people are getting their money back. It's a good way to do it, though. But my buddy, my buddy owns a very, very a billion. My buddy owns a very, very exclusive restaurant in St. Bart's, and um, he has the richest people in the world that come in there. The richest people, and they bring their whole family. So it could be anybody you've heard of just comes in. They bring. 10 of their family members. And they spend crazy money, obviously, especially if they're wine drinkers. And they probably, the average tab is 20 grand or something. And my friend always makes it a practice, though. Once, once a season, if, especially if they've come in a bunch, he'll just look at them at the last Comp day it. and go, it's all in the house. And they go, what? It's a $20,000 bill. He goes, it's all in the house. It's for you. Thank you. And, and that goes... Such a long way because when you're super rich, nobody ever does that. People go, What the fuck? You did that for me? That's yeah, so cool. It's, then no, they, it's no different than the Vegas casinos giving you, you know, free penthouses. Mm. Like people who gamble a lot, yeah, they give them the best room, they give them everything, they fly you privately, sure, yeah, because they're gonna get there. But, 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 a, but a restaurant like a mom and pop restaurant's different, you know, it's a little different. I mean, it's the same idea, they're gonna get theirs, like the, the markup on the restaurant, you're gonna the, get yours. Oh, but St. Bart's? You're gonna, yeah. You're going to get yours. He could do that every day and be fine. You're going to get But it's cool he does it once a season. Well. You know what I'm saying? It's like. It's like uh, nobody does he, that. He still made money that night. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of money. Yeah. That's the idea, though. Yeah, yeah. It goes you a You got a good way. feeling, and you're like, oh, I'm, I like that place. Yeah, and the people there, it's a nice gesture, but it's yes. not like no. it would have hurt their pockets. Uh -uh. Yeah. Uh -uh. Very good. Well, I got a question. Expertise here. Um, you want to pull this one up? Mm -hmm. Give us a second here. This one, right? Ocho Cinco says he wants to spar Max Holloway. And I think there's a clip of him saying it too. Hmm. Yeah, I posted Let me this. Ask you a question there. Let me ask you a question. Because I was state wrestling champ in 82. Okay? He's lying. You know, you see my hands go. I he's, got he's joking. So at what point do you think Max Holloway would beat me if we were to get in the octagon? Like round one, two, or three? 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what you mean 30 seconds? 30. He knocked you out 30. I'm putting, all, I'm putting all my money. I'm taking all the money I got, everything I own, and putting it on Max Holloway. So you think, you think, you think, you think Max Holloway can beat me? Beat the break from you and two more people just like you. <laughs> what, what? Two more people just like you. Would, Beat the brakes off you and, and two more people just like you. Okay. You know you see my hands go. I got hands. So at what point do you think Mac <laughs> I love so him. Funny. I was from State Wrestling Jam at 82. No, he wasn't. Because yeah. he's not that old. Yeah. That's the joke. He's that's great. The joke. He's great. Yeah, I, two I, more guys just like I, you. I posted this. I said Max Holloway has a better chance catching a pass against the Denver Broncos than Ocho Cinco <laughs> does beating up Max Holloway. You're out of your That's goddamn so mind. That's so funny. That's great. Yeah. And Max commented, said Ocho Nightcap be too strong for him. Is he talking? Is he talking about his actual cap or what? no? He's talking like Nightcap, like uh, your drink before you go to bed. Oh, gosh, gotcha, you, gotcha. <laughs> oh, he's talking craziness because he was like adjusting his like, like uh, yeah thing. Um. Oh, that one? Imagine if Shannon Sharp had been a fucking MMA fighter. That guy's just one of the ultimate freaks. Dad fulfills nine-year-old son's dream of having a pet octopus. Weeks later, oh she lays over 40 eggs. We just talked about octopus. Too. Octopus are not a good animal to own. 40 <laughs> They're not, huh? Dude, I was look how my, happy this kid is. Dude, I was feeding my fish yesterday. I had to get a, uh, a you know, it's that big 400-gallon tank. I had to get a cover over the top because the fish, when they eat, they... Like go under like fucking great whites and pop out and sort of like rattle the thing, dude. So it has a heavy fucking wood cover over it. Yeah. And they see the food coming. The arowana goes, boom, knocks the fucking top off. Whoa. Flopping on the floor. I had to get a big net and fucking toss him back in Holy there. Holy shit. Dude, it's wild. Man. Wild. 
It's scary. You bit off more than you can chew. Oh, it's scary. But everyone's like, just get a cover, you'll be fine. Oh, why? Because they should be in the Amazon River Jumping instead of my air. stupid fucking tank, <laughs> yeah. maybe? Maybe in the Amazon. Maybe he'd rather just suffocate on my wood floor yeah. than live in that tank. Could you put him in a, in a river anywhere? I guess he needs warm water or he'd die. Yeah, no. I can't just toss him in like the fucking Calabasas he, Lake. He needs to be in the Amazon. Yeah, dude. It gets too cold out there for him. My tank stays at 82, baby. Damn. The heat bill is cracking. 400 gallon tank um 82 degrees at all times that's a big tank because i wanted a stupid fucking arowana from amazon 100 gallon tank it's long it's like as long as that wall it's in my basement it's in my man cave it's in my fish cave you know we got a tank uh, being built here really yeah dope tank that's cool yeah, it's gonna be cool can i choose some fish absolutely not no yeah. no no oh, can i get my can i get involved in the old no, hobby? no no i got koi you know i know hey yeah, everyone's going. I could bring my koi in just to say hi. Got some goldfish. My my little fish, they'd get eaten, though, by the arowana. Yeah, well, we won't have an arowana in there. This can be a community tank. Oh. So it's like smaller, friendly what, what's fish. What's my fish? The koi? No, I want a fish. Well, no, you, you mess with goldfish. Hey, hey, you're being a fish snob, dude. Let me get involved. No, you know what it is, though? Like, just let's say we didn't know each other. Yeah. And someone's like, hey, why don't you meet my friend? Yeah. Like, okay. Uh, what's he into? They're like, well, he drives a Tesla and it's all white with white interior. He wears, wears flip-flops. That's, that's a bad sign. He wears flip-flops with sand, with jeans. I go, yeah. oh, I hate that. And yeah. then they go, he also owns many goldfish. And then I would look at that person and go, oh, I'm not gay. I'm not gay, though, but I'll, I'll, I'll have a coffee with him, you know? <laughs> you would just judge me like that, dude? Yeah, I'm doing it right now and I know you. I mean... Be cool, though. I just want to be part of the group. You don't, though. What if I come in with an octopus? That Now you're in. Yeah, especially one of those blue ring octopuses that can kill you. No, we don't want that. No. You don't want to fuck with a poisonous. Dude, when you lay your head down at night, do you go, I don't know why I'm into Tesla's goldfish and sandals. And also just the same clothes over and over again. That I can handle. That's not as gay. Yeah. That's just you're not a fashion guy. Yeah. But it's the goldfish, right? Right? It's yeah, gold. the koi. Say koi, though. Mm. I have two koi and th four goldfish. I know, but you do own goldfish, which is like... Yeah, one of my goldfish just disappeared. I don't know where it is. Probably a raccoon or something. God yeah. bless him. Fucking raccoon. I heard it the other night, and I went out there. Bastard. Yeah, you're just like basic stuff. Like you're, you're very detailed about food, but then yeah. outside of that, it's yeah. just basic. Say, what are you into, Brian? Nothing. Basic. Yep. Car, you I go, does it, to lock, does it have four wheels? I never once locked my door in Venice, not once to my house. Like if somebody could steal something, the only thing they can get is my flat screen TV. I don't own anything else of value. There's nothing you could steal that I would give a fuck about, including my Ford Explorer. I've just, and it's not because I'm not materialistic. It's because I just don't. You're just not into I'm it. Just like not you're not into, into watches. Nothing. Like when I, I bought you those nice watch. Gucci shoes yeah you, like, I don't like own, okay i don't own Nothing. anything of value i really anything. don't i don't own a i don't own a watch i don't own a single thing of value i have a phone and i have a flat screen tv you come into my house that's that's all you're getting all right take my flat screen that house TV. to rob yeah shitty house because you don't rob. have any yeah you know. yeah i just don't have anything like the, I had this conversation with some people the criminals like, would come into? in and be like i guess take the almond butter looks really expensive <laughs> literally yeah that's what they I said just take my, the coffee I, was with, I was with two people who are like you they just they have they love really nice watches they have cars porsches and all that they're like you're not into cars you're not into clothes you're not into jewelry i said i'm i'm not even a little bit it, so if i gave you money you would i was like i, I yeah i'd be so disappointing to you life's too short not to drive a fast car well my tesla fucking B, you're Kicks. driving a Tesla that's fast right yeah, now. Are we oh, going to ignore didn't know that? This. My, my loaner is a, a plaid Tesla, but not just a plaid Tesla. That's like It's fast. like a hooked up plaid Tesla. But that's like a crazy Suspension, wheels, everything. What? A plaid it's the fastest Tesla. Tesla you can get. So then uh, so then, what are, you, what are you thinking? I mean, you've got to be like, holy shit, I'm a convert. Uh, absolutely not. So um, that's I, it? since I've had it, I, I sucked a lot of cock. Why? <laughs> Oh, and I don't know what it is, a, dude. That's dude, got a I, fin on the back. Of dude, it. I don't know what it is. You've been sucking. You've been. Have you been picking up random dudes? 
You can't do that, dude. I know. It's unlike me. No, no, no. That's and the not, only change I've made that. is I've driven that thing around. Well, and, that's the problem. And I just dude. can't stop sucking cock. No, you can't. <laughs> I don't know what I don't it know is, if it's dude. The Tesla. I know. It just might be that you just kind of want to do it. No, you, but you, so my, my two trucks are in the shop. My buddy Bert was like, I got a loaner for you. I know you only mess with cars over a thousand horsepower. Uh, he was, I know you hate Teslas, but I want you to take this for to your trucks done and just give me your real opinion on it. I was like, ah, that, even then I'm like, ah, he's, like he, he's like, it's not your normal Tesla plaid. They're badass already. Like I've hooked this thing up as much as you can with a Tesla. He's like, so you won't look so gay in it. I'm like, all right, whatever. And I get in, I drive home and the first day, is that now your first initial, initial reaction, like, damn, this thing's fast. Yes. This thing is fast. Yes. This thing can go. Yeah. And then, Faster than any car you've ever been in. No, no, no. My Dodge Demon will beat it, and I'm actually going to race That's it. That's adorable. Oh, I Your promise Dodge you it will. Your Dodge Demon would get crushed by No, that no. What are you talking no. about? I'd rather you talk to me about fish than cars, A plaid? Bro. Oh, no. Your Dodge Demon can't do shit against that yeah, plaid. Yeah, it can. Off the line? Yeah, First yeah. of all, that thing is beating you off the line. No, no, no. I mean, what do you mean no? no. I, do we have to do this? Your Dodge Demon's not beating Do we that. have to do what, this? Was it 1,200 horsepower? Yeah, no. and it's tuned. No, no, no. Yeah. yeah. No. And and people have already beat it. I wish we you weren't doing this to yourself. A plaid. I'd rather talk about Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia. Break sick. down that for me instead of this. The plaid please. is sick. No, I know it's sick for you, soy boys. Wait, I, I know. So I know what? it's your holy grail. So what don't you like so about I it? I go. It, it. So the initial reaction, it's fast. It's just a different kind of fast. It, you, it like jerks you back. Yeah. Like a ride at Disneyland. Yeah. And then after that, after about ten minutes, I went. I'm looking around. It's just so basic. Yeah. There's no heart or soul to these things. No. It's like you're driving. It's a you're, it's a computer. It's like a the big screen. IPad. The screen is this big. Yeah. It's a. You're driving an iPad. Yeah. You're driving the future. There's there, no. You're not. Not with my future. So you're driving around. And it's just this huge screen. Yeah. It's fast. There's more to cars than just being fast. Well, it's 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 the least effort to put into a car. Correct. It drives. And and, you. and here's if you my like thing. to drive. If you're a it's driver, not the car for you. Yeah. Like uh, like I like my driving's a sport. Like my my twenty year old Ford Lightning is way funner than that yeah. Ted Plaid. Not even close to that Plaid. Yeah, my friends. It's like so that. much more fun. If you're a fun. driver, if you're a Porsche guy, you would never. Ever. Oh, there's inline six Porsches from the seventies and eighties that are the funnest cars to drive. Yeah. Stick, but that Tesla Plaid, it just it just no, I mean, cemented how I feel. It, the Tesla is for people who don't care about driving. There's people like you, and again. People think, oh, you hate on Tesla because the technology, no, none of that stuff. No. You got to realize, I live in California. So when Newsom says, we're getting rid of all combustion engines, you have to have an electric by 20, 30, whatever. You want, you want, you want. Oh, well, then you got my attention. Yeah, you, hold on, hold on. <laughs> I'm fine with electric cars, but when you force me. Now I want. Well, now you got you my attention and engine. I fucking hate you. Yeah. Yeah. You and not only do I hate you, I hate Teslas yeah. and everything they stand for. You want to have to pull up to a, an oil well. Yes. just to get the oil and then with bunker fuel yes. just and, and have it spew all over the the and again, again if that's your if that's your vibe I, I don't care do what you want to do but it's just not i will never just drive don't a, force i will never drive one, on you. never yeah. i will never drive one of those i just Political don't get it statement. life's too short man to drive that piece of shit and don't call it a piece of shit i know i'm sorry that's too much My no, i like i like elon but yeah i just i don't get it uh, and you, I, I took my demon today. He, he, he gave it to me. Uh, he gave it to me. Uh, what two days ago? I drove, picked my son up from school. My son was so upset. They hate Teslas. Every time they see one on the road, they go boo, boo. I love that, and they might have learned that from me. But uh, when I picked him up from school, he's like, "What are you doing?" I was like, "I'm so sorry." So it's just been parked at my house. I refuse. I, I just, it's terrible. What did you drive here? My my Dodge Demon. It's terrible. I don't get it. I don't get it. I just don't. You can't. And that's okay. That's okay. I just don't get it. The screen, the everything, the steering wheel sucks. Yeah. The 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 AC comes th out of the fucking steering wheel in my eyes. <laughs> yeah. It's like. <laughs> Where do you want? Because the steering wheel is like this, right? On the plaid, it's it's like you know this weird little steering wheel. Oh, you mean the airplane the, thing? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's terrible. That's yeah, terrible. I would hate that. The whole thing. It's just. Yeah. Mm. You're on the highway, just like going. It's just. Rogan sold on it, I think, or maybe he was. Maybe, yeah. <clears throat> hey, but he likes like the technology stuff, and then yeah, he also he has it. a collection of the most badass combust Muscle combustion pressure. engines you've ever seen. Yeah. So he can dip his toe in that, you know. Yeah. But it's just not for me, and it will never be for me ever. And I also don't suck cock. What? You I just I did. can't, dude. I'm sick. I'm exhausted. 
I got no sleep last night. Yeah, the back of your neck. Oh, my it's neck hard. is so bunched up, sucking so much dick. Yeah. Can I sit in that Dodge Demon? Absolutely not. No. What else you got, Jen? <laughs> uh, I think we we're supposed to watch this video before <laughs> all it's that okay. happened. Okay. You know, we it's got what? Let's right. call it. All right, let's call it. Yeah. yeah. Fine. You want you want to do this one or you want to end it? Oh yeah, for sure. That one. So for sure. uh Katy Perry might be the last year on Idol, you guys. And look who she said would be an ideal replacement for her oh, as a judge. So cool. Jelly Roll, what a co-sign. Your show, Brandon. He could not. You know what? Wow. It's not my show. I only like the first episodes when they're searching for the talent. Okay. Once they get to the top 20 and it's overproduced, I'm out. You're out. Everyone sounds exactly the same. The judges give no criticism. Everyone's the best. Everyone's going to be the next superstar. No one damn well they haven't made a superstar in fucking years since Carrie Underwood. So it's just, it's not my thing. It gets too overproduced. It's too friendly. Like you'll see a person, horrible performance. Yeah. Even, you know, I don't know shit about singing. I know that's not singing. And they're like, it was so good. You look like a superstar girl. We can't wait to see you tomorrow night. Please vote. I'm like, oh, get the fuck out of here. Like, it's not real. We need mm -hmm. Simon Cowell back. Right. I think Jelly's too sweet for this. He's I, great. I agree with you. But, but Jelly's too sweet, but he's, you know, maybe he would give some critical, yeah, you know, would. kind of advice. Would, yeah. And then, but he also connects with him. Like, he cried with one girl. Like, mm -hmm. Jelly's pretty perfect for it. He's awesome. He'd be, he'd be amazing for this part, yeah. I still think they need someone to just be like, you suck and get out of here. 100%. Is, is Katy Perry married? Yes, to Orlando Bloom, and they have a child. Mm. It's oh. not happening, bro. <laughs> just checking. You know she makes like $27 million a year on that show, and the rest of the cast makes seven? She makes more than Richie? Not even close. Richie makes the least amount. She is uh, so beautiful. Yeah, she makes like 20 or it might be 30 minutes, some crazy number. Her and Ry Ryan Seacrest are the highest paid. And then Luke and uh, Lionel Richie make, I think, seven each. Um, but I don't hear a lot of people complaining about equal pay when it comes to American Idol. Hmm. So she makes 25 million and then look at what the other boys make. I think it's like seven or 10, but significantly less. The, you can just, all right. I was gonna say you just, just click go, on that. What? It says ten go ahead, million your, for Lionel yeah. Richie. Yeah, ten. <laughs> Not even half. Wow. And Luke makes the exact same. Damn. Ten million is right. a lot. Okay. But she is the biggest star. Yeah, she is. All right, kids. All right, See kids. That's now. it. Irvine. No, I mean Brea. M this Bri. weekend, Friday, Saturday. One show Friday, one show Saturday at nine forty-five. Come get some Bricktown Comedy Club, Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Happy birthday, Chin. Thank happy you, bro. Happy birthday, Chin. Everybody wish happy Chin a happy birthday, birthday on social media. Yeah. Love you guys.